17 points and 15 rebounds for Anthony Davis. He's speaking with the media. Yeah, Anthony, first of all, clearly you had been very consistently uh, effective on both ends and, and offensively in a rhythm again. Uh, MPJ ran into the shoulder. Uh, can you just describe kind of what happened when you had to leave the floor and then how it felt once you eventually got back? Yeah, um, I guess it was like a little stinger. I just lost function, lost feeling from like, you know, my neck all the way to my hand. Um, and then, you know, I get back in the game and, you know, I get, get hit again by KCP. He just made it a little worse. Um, but obviously knowing the <clears throat> importance of the game, you know, just try to get some feeling and stuff back in the hand in the back with uh, my trainer and then just try to come back out there and just um, help the team get a win. What's the level of uh, I don't know, frustration or uh, for you uh, in, uh, about a missed opportunity about kind of that happening at that point and the control that you guys seem to have on it and and then to kind of battle back and see Denver hit a couple more big shots down the stretch? How do you square all of that? Yeah, man, it's tough. It's frustrating. Um, you know, we put ourselves in a position to win um, every game in this series. Um, you know, then pull out some wins that we feel like we should have, but um, you know, tonight, just especially uh, in the situation where you know I get hit in the shoulder, just tough. Um, just knowing, you know, obviously I was just in a you know rhythm offensively, but um, it's an important game. You know, you want to be out there, and it's, you know, I was just very limited <clears throat> with the shoulder, um, but still try to go out there and just you know do it on the floor for my team. But uh, it's definitely frustrating. Um, just kind of been our our thing all year. Um, you know, Seawood, Vando, uh, Gabe. Uh, you know, we're not making any excuses or anything like that. You know, Denver's a hell of a team. You know, our defending champs. Um, it's just tough. Uh, you know, just going out like that. Ad, we're used to seeing you with LeBron in, in this setting, so many playoff games over the years and so many accomplishments and really it's hard to separate you from him in your time as a Laker. He has a big decision to make this summer. Um, what's going to be your role in being a, a friend or a teammate as he goes through that process and what do you think you guys could do together if, if he does you know, come back to the Lakers? Yeah, I mean... <clears throat> He's been in this position numerous times in his career um, where he had to make a decision, ultimately for himself and his family. Um, and I'll be right there supporting whatever he decides to do. Um, I'm not sure. I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, it's still fresh. I mean, um, I'm pretty sure it's not even on his mind right now. But um, <clears throat> pretty sure he'll come talk to me, um, tell me what's going on before he. You know, become public with the decision. Uh, just to keep me in the loop. But um, yeah, I mean, I've, obviously it's been you know a great five seasons with him. Um, you know, if he do decide to come back, you know, obviously this isn't where we want to you know be. Uh, we want to be left at um, you know losing in the first round. Uh, you know, if he does, obviously our goal is to come back and. and you know, be a championship contender. Uh, you know, stay healthy and um, give Laker Nation what they deserve. Um, but <clears throat> he has a you know decision to make, and you know when that time comes, he'll you know inform me, inform you guys. Ad, uh, you played a career high uh, 76 games in the regular season. Entering tonight, you were averaging 31 and 16 regular season career high in, in rebounds. Your shooting percentages were right at your career best. And, and how much pride do you take in how many games you've been able in year 12 to, to play career best? Yeah, man, it's all to my trainers. You know, uh, did a great job with me this summer. Um, Making sure that I'm able to stay on the floor throughout the season, making sure I'm able to stay on the floor, uh, even with little injuries, you know, able to play through them just because of all the work that we put in through the summer and through the season. So uh, I take pride in that. Um, I take pride being on the floor to help my team win. Uh, I feel like I did a good job of that this year. 
uh, playing 76. <clears throat> um, but, yeah, man, it's, it's all credit to them. Um, you know, I put a lot of work in in the summer to be able to, you know, have my body go through, you know, the bumps and bruises and the ups and downs of a long and Tyson season and uh, long and taxing season and, 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 you know, obviously going into the playoffs where it's a lot more physical and, uh, you know, the minutes increase. So, um, you know, just the hard work from the summer through the regular season and then, you know, through the first round. You guys went, I believe it was 19 and six with the, after the starting lineup, if the last starting lineup change, close to the regular season, obviously you guys just battled with the defending champions, um, despite how the series ended. Did any of this, I guess, further instill confidence that if you guys are healthier and if you guys keep this group together, obviously that include the Brown and D'Lo, that you guys could get closer to competing for the ultimate goal that you guys strive for? Yeah. Um, you know, it's all about, you know, continuity. Um, and like I said, a lot of our guys were, you know, out of the lineup, um, you know, really missed games. Uh, Gabe missed a lot of games. Uh, Vando missed, you know, a ton of games. Uh, Seawood. Um, but, you know, I think we found some towards the end of the season with that lineup. Um, obviously, some guys in the locker room who has uh, decisions to make. Um, but, you know, I think the way you continue to compete for championships is kind of keeping the core, you know. Um, <clears throat> I learned that just from, like, being in New Orleans, you know. My time, I, I don't even know how many teammates I had. Um, and it's tough. I mean, you, you look at a team like Denver, <clears throat> you know, Boston, uh, Golden State, like all these teams who've done, you know, unbelievable things. Uh, you know, their core group has stayed together, and you add uh, supporting cast around that um, and not make too many changes. But uh, it's different when a lot of guys, you know, have a lot of player options and, you know, got to make decisions that's best for them and their family. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens uh, over the course of the summer, what guys decide to do. But um, just watching and just knowing from experience the way you, you know, continue to c compete for championships is keeping that core group together. Mm -hmm. uh, Anthony, uh, at the end of the third quarter when you went back to, I assume, the locker room, I'm guessing that's where the trainer was working with you to kind of get the shoulder right. Uh, what exactly did he do to, uh, what did they do to kind of help you get loose there? I couldn't even put it in terms like what they did is just, do what they, they did their job. Uh, I couldn't like really explain it, like kind of dig it into like my scapula and stuff like that to kind of relax the muscles and everything like that, the nerves and stuff. But um, I mean, I just saw obviously, you know, guys fighting and keeping the game close. You know, I just wanted to go back out there um, no matter what and uh, try to help the team win. Eddie, you talked about wanting the best for LeBron, but also keeping the core together for championships. When he makes that call to you, are you one to recruit him and, and try to convince him? Um, absolutely. Um, for like, you know, we complement each other. Uh, we've done something special together. Uh, good thing about it, I'm going to be with him all summer. So, um, have a lot of conversations and things like that, but uh, he know how I feel a, about him. Um, like I said, he's been in this game a long time, you know, and in season 21, and he's been in this position a couple times to make these type of decisions, and, um, you know, if he kind of asks my opinion or whenever we talk about it, I'm obviously going to uh, try to recruit him back, but, you um, Ultimately, you know, he's old enough where he's going to make a decision, whatever is best for him and his family, um, knowing that, you know, his time is limited uh, in this league, you know, probably a couple more years left. Um, so, uh, you know, his goal is obviously to win. 
you know, I feel like we can do that here, but most of me is, is how he feel and, you know, what he decides. Okay, AD touching on a lot of things there. Um, of course, LeBron being one of those uh, topics. Second game winner, just what a, how impressed have you been by his ability to kind of rise to meet moments, even when mm. the shooting efficiency has been down sort of as a whole in this series? You know, we were just faking that out. You know, he was faking it, and then we, we, we relaxed them, and it worked. So, I mean... Uh, I knew that he's gonna play. To be honest, uh, even that I didn't talk to him. Like I know he wants to play and he wants to be in a big, big game. So even that he didn't shoot maybe well, he it's not how you start; it's how you finish. No time out there and the winning shot. How much confidence do you guys have in Jamal at that point? That. Uh, Peyton Watson said in the locker room, he's, he's undeniable. What is it like when you know he's going to have the last shot? That's a word that I don't know what it means. But uh, uh, a lot, you know, he made, he is a tough shot maker. You know, I said, I think, I think he makes, he makes more tough shots than easy open looks. That's my opinion. Uh, I think he loves those moments. He loves those situations. And uh, I'm really confident, confident in him that he's going to make it the shot. Nicola, how much better can you guys be based off how you played in this series heading into the series against Minnesota? I mean, we created open looks. We didn't make a lot of open looks. Uh, today Today we made uh, 16 threes, which is okay, uh, okay number. But I think through the series, we didn't make open looks. Uh, as, a, as, a, as a group, uh, we created open looks. So probably the making op- making open looks was what's going to be uh, something that... Uh, Kind of upgrade uh, and creative open looks. You know, as long as you create open looks, I think it's uh, you need to be satisfied with the offense and defense. We, I think we did a good job. You know, 106 points. Uh, we get the stops when we need, when we needed. Uh, you know, I think we we, we can we can uh, match up to uh, to Minnesota kind of good. So we will see. You know, I think it's going to be an interesting matchup. Nicole, you didn't have any free throws. I'm oh, sorry, Nicole. Uh, you didn't have any free throws. Coach Malone said that was the most remarkable stat of the night. But it was a physical game start, start to finish. KCP was hurt. Jamal was hurt. What does it say about the toughness, the physical nature that you guys have as, as a team? We just want to be that, be, uh, build that surrounding around us that we are tough. You know, we, we are really not hurt. Uh, <laughs> We just want to make everybody think that we are hurt, especially Minnesota, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, KCP, is, I think he's a, he's a winner. Uh, I think he, he proved us that he's a winner. He's always in the right spot. He was always uh, doing the right things. He's, uh, he's the guy who, who can, you, can, you cannot mad, be mad at him in anything what he do. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I believe in my guys, and I think I think we 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 uh, the toughness is something that right now in the playoffs it's not even a question. To be honest, if you ask me, Nicola, Michael Porter Jr. was a, a consistent number two for you guys throughout the entire series. Just how valuable was was it to have somebody who was just kind of consistent throughout the entire? Five he was games? good. Yeah, he was great. I think uh, he made a lot of good shots, uh, especially the game three in LA. In, uh, in LA, he was amazing. Uh, even today, he made some big, big, big shots. He made a uh, five threes, and uh, in, like like you said, someone who was. Uh, Consistent and uh, I mean he just a threat that he we have in him like when, when you have him on the court is Even if he's like 0 for 6, you know, he's gonna make the next like you think he's gonna make the next one. So I think I think it's a I would like to have him in my team for sure Right here is it fun playing Minnesota? Um, I mean I don't know. I think it's interesting. Like to this, this the whole round, the whole series was interesting to me because uh, uh, they doubled me most of the time. So you know, I'm just glad that uh, we found a way to create open looks and uh, we trust each other. So I think that's a great, uh, uh, great um, like a team. Bonding, if that make any sense, like we know it, like we e- chemistry. Uh, I think I think the next year is going to be co- completely different. So uh, 
but still, like I think we believe in each other and trust each other so much that uh, uh, it, we just can. I think we can just be better at this point. Nicola, whether you and your teammates, or whether some of them are faking it or not, how how nice is it to get the extra rest by closing out? Because coach said he didn't want to have to get on a plane and play Thursday. Oh, definitely, I didn't want to play Thursday, but. Uh, to be honest, if you ask me, I would like to play Minnesota in two, three days. I don't like five days off. My body thinks it's a rest. Uh, oh, what makes you know the two man, you know, down the stretch? What makes it so that the execution? What makes that so good for you guys? Such a good, good play for you guys down the stretch. It's. It's it's uh, it's Mike and KCP. You know, cannot leave those two guys. You cannot leave uh, uh, Aaron. He showed that if he if you leave him in a game three, he had like 30 points. So if you leave him, he's gonna be dominant. And Jamal is guy who is gonna make a lot of shots. So uh, it's the is a is a team. You know, it's okay. It's a two man game because people making it two man game. But it's the 